The event went pretty well. Uh, we had a lot of universities come together, people from Ohio, uh, Kent State, Akron, even Indiana and Louisville. So we were expecting 350 people and we got we got over 500. So that was an outstanding attendance and I'm glad that the hackathon was able to provide them really whatever they needed. We're hoping to make this even bigger next time, so I, I don't think it could have turned out any better. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves. Not everyone can do this. Not everyone made it, and you guys did. And we're with Buckeye Current. Buckeye Current is the electric motorcycle team out at the Ohio State University Center for Automotive Research. You might think of a pulse oximeter as the type of sensor you get clipped onto your finger in a hospital or it might be your ear. We, uh, as best we could, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we reverse engineered a, basically the bottom piece of an Apple Watch. Um, granted, from parts we found at Radio Shack, but we did it in a way such that it was cheaper and more robust uh, such that it could be expanded to monitor a much wider array of um, materials in the flood. So we actually were looking for quite a few judges and it, it was we were thinking it was going to be difficult to get a qualified judging panel. Somehow we managed to pull it together. I didn't know we would actually have such a positive response. Um, we had we initially were aiming for 50 judges and we got, uh, we got over 60 so that was extremely encouraging and every single one of them contributed and was extremely good sport about putting everything together for us. It was amazing. Raise your hand if you think that you learned something as a participant. Okay, lots of hands. If you count everybody involved in planning the hackathon, we had 300% growth. That's pretty insane, right? 300% growth. Can I get like some claps for 300%? Why do we do OHIO? Because fostering a tech culture here at Ohio State is an investment in our future. It's an investment in the future for Columbus, it's an investment in the future for Ohio State, and it's an investment in our future for ourselves.